Well, hi there. Welcome to Reasons Why Men Have It Hard in Society. Probably the biggest and the most unrecognized one is that men face rejection way more than women. And that's just a fact. Think about it. If a woman doesn't want to make the first move, all she has to do is like give him a little like subliminal message, you know, body language, a wink, whatever, to let him know that he needs to engage it. And boom, it's all off of her and all on him. That's pretty freaking stressful, don't you think? But if that doesn't work, no problem, because there will always be another guy to try. Now, obviously women are vulnerable to rejection as well. However, it's not as difficult for them to come out of. Look at me, for example. I got rejected twice in a row for like the first time in my life, and I struggled. I lost some confidence for a bit. It made me kind of angry for a moment. Like, I really went through some shit because women are so used to getting compliments that hate comments fuck with us. Shit like that just messes with us because we're so used to getting compliments. Whereas guys, when they get compliments, that sits and resonates with them because they're not used to getting compliments. And women, nine times out of 10, can have a successful dating relationship without experiencing rejection at all. Whereas men, they live in this fear in their relationships where if they don't man up or do certain things, that he'll just be thrown to the side. For men, confidence doesn't come naturally most of the time. And so in the dating world, they need to be confident because they face rejection all the time. And so if you're not confident, well, that's the key to your success, right? Reason number two as to why men have it hard in society. Uh, it's way more difficult for them to get a date. And once a date, sex, or even an ego boost, like it's really easy for us to do it. They go on Tinder, bubble, plenty of fish. They freaking, you know, you can go out, go to the club, do whatever, right? It's really easy for us to seek that. However, men, there's nowhere close to the same guarantee that it'll work. Reason number three, society puts enormous pressure on men to be good to women and they do not hold that same energy or that same credibility in society with us. Like it or not, there is more pressure on boys to have good skills with women. Like growing up when they're flirting with girls and stuff like that, they're often like heroic and yeah, and hanging out with the girls, right? But whenever girls have extraordinary social skills, we're often shamed by our peers and that's a fact. And I mean extraordinary social skills with guys. So when we hang around guys, we're flirting with guys, whatever, we're shamed for it. So that's, that's a really shitty double standard, however. The underlying issue with men is that there's this like aura of if you're not interested in women, if you're not chasing women, then you're just not a man. Now before you kind of laugh at me for that, there's a gravity to the pressure that that puts on men. Because imagine, you know, he's in a bar and he's with all of his friends and that, that, that's put on him. Well, what do you think his confidence is going to be like approaching you? Probably shitty. He's more likely to not approach you um because he's in front of his friends and if he's sober and you reject him even if he's asked you nicely that's gonna make him next time be way less likely to approach a woman and now i say that it is not on us it's not our responsibility to say yes just because a man is interested i've rejected many a men but it's how you do it okay you always give a compliment and say thank you. So I always say thank you. You look really good tonight, or I really like your eyes, I really like your style. Uh, thank you so much. However, I'm just not interested for whatever reason, right? I like to tell people uh, that I'm gay <laughs> because uh, just in those moments, because it, it just it makes them feel like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? Like it didn't really matter what they did, that they wouldn't have had a chance. And so um, that's, I don't want someone to sit there and like question themselves, you know what I mean? Just because I know what that feels like. But that's just me. If he isn't good with women, then they internalize this idea of that they're not sexy, they're not attractive, and they're not a man because they can't get a girl. Men are told in society that if they can't get a woman to be attracted to them, then they're not a man and they're not attractive. And that's a lot of pressure. That's really, really hard. Do you see how toxic it is to place that on men and just imagine being them for a minute and just dealing with that daily. 
along the lines of, I'm not attracted to a guy who doesn't have the confidence to approach me. Just sit for a second and just realize the societal pressure that is put on him. Me, I really like being the person to like grab the number first or, you know, give the compliment or introduce myself first, ask them on a date first. Like <laughs> I really thrive off that because I know how much pressure is on guys and I know how rare it is for a woman to assume that position and not do it from like this dominant controlling standpoint, but just from like a, I respect you, you know? Reason number four, men are very much encouraged to be independent and not ask for help. I'm told that it's like shameful to ask for help a lot. And so that transgresses into a lot of different things, their mental health, their dating life, their work life, their education, um, you know, lots of different things. It's pretty much what I said the other day. Women are valued just because we're women and men are valued based off of what they have, what they can show you and what they can do. And last but very much not least, boys, men get sent mixed signals about women right from little. Always be a gentleman, always be respectful, always put her above yourself. These are all things that men hear. Guys get really confused about what women want due to like media, their mothers, girlfriends themselves. We kind of stuck figuring all of that out on their own. But what happens when you play all the nice cards and you don't give any sexy or confidence? You end up in the friend zone. And, and that's where a lot of guys end up because their moms don't give them advice like, pull the chair out for her, you know, open the car door for her, but make sure you smack her ass when she gets in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there isn't really any solid advice. And so they're, they're really confused because they're told, oh, always be respectful towards women. Um, but 14 year olds are throwing it back on the internet nowadays. So I don't even think they know what they want or what kind of respect they want or what kind of respect they have for themselves. So to a guy, if he doesn't know what he's doing, it's, it's not really his fault. Okay, society has done a really fucked up job at teaching them.